Hello and welcome to another edition of another book review. This week I'll be reviewing John Irving's novel Avenue of Mysteries. I'll go a little bit into the author's background, give a brief spoiler-free overview of the plot, talk about what I liked about the book, and then talk about what I didn't like, and we'll finish off with what I'll be reading for next time. John Irving is a fairly well-known author. He's been publishing works since, I believe, 1978. He's had five of his novels uh, adapted into film. This is the first of his novels that I've read. I often see his name thrown uh, around the when talking about the genre of magical realism. Uh, I've really liked Love in the Time of Cholera and Perfume, Story of a Murderer. And so I wanted to check out uh, one of his books. So this book, Avenue of Mysteries, is about two kids growing up in Mexico. And they live in the dumps of, I believe, Mexico City. And they are Juan Diego and his, his sister Lupe. And the book chronicles really Juan Diego's life. Uh, he starts out as a child in the dumps. And you see kind of two different parts of his life. You see that time when he is uh, a teenager living in the dumps of Mexico City with his sister. And then you see later in his life when he is an, an older man uh, after he has moved to America and has become uh, an author of some renown uh, and his interactions with his students, sorry, one of his students, and his desire to fulfill a promise that he made to someone back in Mexico City. And I know that's a fairly um, broad overview of the plot. Uh, the magical realism in the novel comes mostly from Juan Diego's sister Lupe, who, to everybody but Juan Diego, speaks in tongues. She can read the thoughts of other people, and she has some abilities to tell the future. And so Juan Diego serves as her translator. Juan Diego himself, with no real formal education, uh, can read English and speaks English relatively well. And so you see uh, characters who interact with him knowing that he has that ability, uh, specifically priests, Jesuit priests, who have somewhat adopted him as well as uh, Lupe and their mother. Um, so what did I like about the book? I think John Irving's skill as an author was really impressive to me. I thought, thought that even with some of those limitations as far as having to note that Juan Diego is translating his sister's information, having to kind of repeatedly say uh, the other characters didn't understand her, but Juan Diego was able to. Uh, even though he had to repeat that many, many times, it still felt fresh. And so you could just see on kind of a brass tacks writer level that he was a really strong author. The themes in this novel, as far as faith and as far as dealing with someone who or people who are quote unquote special and their fate as they move through the world, I thought were really strong and really interesting. I definitely, um, towards the end of the novel, it gets very emotional. And I thought that the novel ended very, very strongly. And I think the ending of the novel really makes you go back and consider what you've read up to that point. So I enjoyed that. I think the characters, um, one of the maybe worries is too strong a word of magical realism is finding that balance between the fantastical and the mundane and making it feel of a piece throughout the whole thing. I think he does really well as far as tone in the novel. I don't think you ever really feel like you're pushed in one direction or the other. Um, I thought those things were really strong. Uh, on the negative sides, the book took me a long, long time to finish. I don't know how much of that was the fault of the author and how much of that was my shortcomings as a reader. I felt like I definitely had to push through the early moments of the novel. Even though I think he does a good job of planting seeds early in the novel to get you excited about what these mysteries are, uh, kind of planting seeds that you're going to hear these stories later on in the novel, I still kind of struggled at times to, to push forward. I think that while I enjoyed most of the characters, uh, there were definitely some 
parts of the book that probably could have been scaled back or cut from the novel to make it a little bit of a shorter read. Um, there are parts of the novel that even after you read it, you still have to find your own interpretation of who certain who and what certain people are or represent. And I think that there are still some questions that you kind of struggle with at the end and, and not everything is kind of laid out for you. Um, so the question of why, even though I think that ties back into the novel thematically, was still a little frustrating as a reader. And um, I definitely found myself kind of, because the novel has two different tracks, kind of the track of him, Juan Diego as a child and the track of Juan Diego as an adult. Um, if one or the other one is not very interesting to you, you do find yourself trying to have to push through that. I felt in the end they were all probably both equally interesting depending on what part of it I was in. There are definitely parts of one story that I liked more than the other and parts of one of the other story I liked more than the other. Um, but there was probably not – neither story was overwhelmingly – powerful, if that makes sense. So overall, I did really enjoy it. I thought it was an emotional piece of writing. Um, I will plan, I do plan on reading more of John Irving in the future. If you have recommendations that you want to leave in the comments below uh, after you've heard my review, please do so. Next week, I'll be reviewing The Panopticon by uh, Jenny Fagan. Until next time, please feel free to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll leave my Twitter uh, handle below if you would like to follow me on Twitter. Till next time, bye.